Well, hello there, YouTube viewers. Today we'll talk about differentiation and modulation of high frequency and gamma electroencephalogram in activity in sleep wake states by neuroadrenaline and serotonin microinjection into the region of cholinergic basioneurons. The study was done by Edmund G. Cape and Barbara E. Jones from the Department of Neurology and Neurosurgery in McGill University in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <coughs> well, um, to show a briefly introduction of their study, uh, but there it was proven before that um, the cerebral cortex was activated by cholinergic neurons, especially in the basal cholinergic neurons, and um, although studies show their relationship, that means the activation of cholinergic basal neurons did also activate the cerebral cortex. There was uh, other studies, more profound, showed that neuroadrenaline was found to depolarize and excite uh, uh, neural uh, cholinergic basal neurons as for um, um, serotonin uh, hyperpolarized inhibited cholinergic uh, <coughs> cells. This study was done in vitro and not in vivo. So the intentions of the immune cape and Dr. Jones was to show this the role of of cholinergic of noradrenaline and serotonin and cholinergic basal neurons by injecting uh, noradrenaline noradrenaline and serotonin in vivo into a rat model. The injection procedures and benefits I will not bore you with and I will go directly to the results. So, well their control was um, done on a baseline so to actually show that their electroencephalogram actually uh, produce active results and I mean it was a concrete way of measuring sleep and activation that sleep and activation of the cerebral cortex uh, rats were probed and put into and they were studied during sleep and, and wake states uh, uh, there was nothing the control rats had no uh, change or well in other words everything came out as predicted with uh, the sleep uh, uh, with uh, the EEGs uh, the frequency was expected during the slow wave uh, sleep cycle the uh, REM cycle and during wake periods so this showed that the control and that the EEG was an accurate way of measuring the activation of the cerebral cortex. Um, after this, uh, they had tr proceeded to introduce microinjections into the basal sector, basal neuron sector, uh, to see what effects th this would have on the EEG readings. <laughs> with noradrenaline the rats would wake up uh, once injected and would stay awake for 30 minutes and their EG frequency band activity showed variable but generally moderately high gamma activity this is uh, indicative of uh, high cerebral uh, cortex activity um, uh, they stayed normally with weight behavior. Um, with, of course, there was, uh, was something out of uh, this was done with statistical testing. So t st statistically, it was had a, h a high correlationship with activation of the gamma activity and uh, neuroadrenaline injection into the basal ganglia basial neuron sector not the basial glandular sorry 
as we as was the case in noradrenaline uh, when they injected serotonin the rats also woke up but instead of staying awake they went into uh, SWS which is slow wave sleep this was uh, measured by again EEG by measuring the frequency of, uh, of slow wave sleep during a normal s sleep wake cycle which they got from the control and comparing it to the results they got once uh, uh, injected with serotonin. Uh, fortunately, this showed that serotonin did have a high activation in the initiation of slow wave cycle, which uh, would concurrently then lead into higher injections of serotonin, which left to believe that uh, which showed actually the results here were kind of uh, impressive that uh, the REM sleep was not activated once higher injection of serotonin was introduced into the brain, meaning that the cycle did not complete if serotonin if too much serotonin was injected into this area. Uh, well, actually here I defer from just the article to make a criticism uh, now. How do we actually know? Well, the article is trying to show that the basio neurons are responsible for this. Uh, cholern the cholinergic basio neurons are responsible for activating the cerebral cortex. But uh, <coughs> is this really true? I mean, all we know, we injected the serotonin and we injected in noradrenaline, and we got our results. But I mean, and we know from before other studies that serotonin and noradrenaline uh, activate the or deact inhibit or inhibit or hit or uh, excite the chlorogenic uh, chlorogenic basio neurons but is this enough evidence to conclude that um, um, it is only the chlorogenic uh, basio neurons that are actually producing the activation of the cerebral cortex or should there be more studies? I differ from the results or the conclusions of the article and uh, would actually ask for some other studies. Maybe recommendations would be uh, other control systems like for example uh, uh, blocking other um, uh, activators of the cerebral cortex and trying to see what this produces. Um, well, we continue then with uh, something else that they found which is interesting. Uh, the, there was a dose-response relationship, meaning that uh, higher doses of um, noradrenaline uh, produced uh, higher wake states and higher frequency in the EEG as in, uh, for gamma EEG. <laughs> gamma activity and uh, higher doses in in serotonin actually produce higher peaks in the delta band in the EEG activity. So this um, this leads to produce that uh, there is a direct correlation in some kind of uh, linear fashion of of uh, the gamma activity and nor noradrenaline and the delta band and the fre higher frequency in the delta band and uh, and nor and uh, oh I forgot serotonin um, I won't bore you with the statistical analysis but um, uh, I'm a math person and I gotta say pretty impressive mm pretty flawless. They used NOVA correctly, of course. Um, showed uh, very high correlationships. There's uh, standard degrees of freedom. I mean, standard. Their um, uh, p-values are above the 9.95 showing um, very low, if any, statistical error. Um, overall, we can conclude then for what uh, 
I'm interested in that serotonin is a principal activer, activator in, in the sleep onset and a principal com, uh, player in the sleep-wake cycle. And so is noradrenaline, serotonin meaning